right? And that color that we put underneath will show. Okay, so look, one sweeping motion, right? Place it down, sweep like that, it's easy. Sweep like this, that's easy. All right. Welcome back to Tika's Creations, my name is Takaso. If you guys are having problems making planet rings, um, whether it be nature scenes or space scenes, I hope this video will help you and all the tips I have to offer. If you guys haven't subscribed already, please consider subscribing at the end of the video. Please like and comment. If you guys want to follow me on any of my social media, Snapchat, Facebook, or Instagram, the username is down below. And also, finally, if you want to support me on Patreon, please click the I in the corner. All right, let's get down to the video. Let's get on to the video. It's been a while. It's been a while. Today, I'm gonna to show you how to do, right, planet rings. This is my technique, right, and what I like to do. So, start with the initial planet, right? I'm gonna make this one pink, this planet. I'm gonna go pinky pink on this. Pink, pink, so pink, right? Pink, this is like a darker pink, you can see. But it's satin, right? So that means like it's not gonna be as glossy. So we have to be careful, just be mindful of it because it behaves differently. And the way it behaves differently is that when it dries, right, it's not glossy, basically. I'll put yellow, or I'll put some white. And for this one, we're gonna add a different texture than what I usually do. I'll grab some poster board, yeah. Make this wet, right? Cause it's extremely hot out here at Texas. All right, by the way, man, Hurricane Harvey, this past one was awful. Awful. All right, look. Look, oh man, you see the texture going on here? What is going on here? Look at the texture, it looks so interesting. All right, I don't wanna mess that up. All right, so just go. And, all right, I'm gonna add a different part here. Weigh this down. All right, just a little bit. There we go. We add the texture here. Yep. All right, that's our texture. All right, here we go. I'm gonna explain it like this, so it's easier. Look, for planets, for your shadowing, make a smiley face. Smiley face, you see? Cut the smiley face. On the top part of the planet, light source is coming from uh, you know, let's say it's coming from here, right? Same thing. Sad face. Right? Down. Frowny face. Right? That's the look. That's the look. I like that. I like that a lot. Right? So here we go. Should be dry enough. And we're going to put our planet over. Right? Also, typically when you do planets, try to make them right, right in the middle, right? It doesn't have to be exact, but just try your best. Make it in the middle. Okay. Next, what we're gonna do, we're gonna put the colors underneath that we want to show for our planet ring. So, I want this ring to be a hot pink, right? Hot pink, let's say, let's add some, let's add some yellow in there. All right, some, 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 some yellow. All right, so it's gonna go from light to dark. All right, see, so we'll make it add, we'll, we'll add some nice colors in this one. All 
All right, so that's the look. Running out of black again. All right. Star, star, stars. All right, planet ring time. Here we go. Here, this is what it looks like. That's the planet. All right, a little different. A little different than what I'm used to, but that's okay. Different's good. Different is good sometimes. Okay, for the rings. And the reason why I love scraping it as a texture, you know why? Because it adds shadowing for you. When you put your black, it like it gets stuck behind the little bit of texture that is raising off the painting. Here we're gonna add the rings of the planet. Alright, so I have like an old an old like card I don't use anymore, right? So this is what I do. Look. It's better to use like a credit card, right? Because it's sturdier, it lasts longer than poster board, but if you don't have anything, just use poster board. This is what I do. I just make lines down. All right, you see the lines that I'm making? The lines down the card. All right, and everything will take care of the rest. Now, this card is too big for this plant, so I'm gonna cut a little bit off. That's all right. I'll cut this to make it you know, more comfortable to use, too. So look, two pieces, you got two more pieces to use. Good. Put that back there. All right, here we go. This is what you want to do, especially that's hot. All right. Now we got one direction coming here. I want to make it go the other other direction coming here. So this is what we're going to do. A lot of crystal clear, right? You want this to show. Right? And that color that we put underneath will show. Okay, so look. One sweeping motion, right? Place it down. Sweep like that. It's easy. Sweep like this. It's easy. All right. All right, and that's how I make my rings, right, around the planet. You can complete this, right? It doesn't have to be this way. All right, it can be complete, so you can go the other way too. Just clean this off. All right, but line it up with this one, right? So it's lined like this. Actually, best thing to do, use a straight edge. Like, don't, don't be greedy, right, with time. Don't be greedy with the time, but just make it right, though. All right, so line it up like this, all right? It's about right here. So mark it, right? Same motion. It's an angle right now, right here. All right, so complete like that. And that's how I make my rings, all right? Like always, we're gonna make this into a painting. And, uh, yeah, here we go. All right, so welcome back. Welcome back, it's been so long. But um, another tutorial, I hope you guys liked it. Um, you know, I know I know. for most people, I have to make a planet beforehand. I wanna show you guys that. That's why the tutorial was so long. But anyway, on to the painting. So what I do is uh, I'm creating mountains and I'm gonna try to stick to the theme of just scratching the paint because I just want to show you guys as many techniques as I can, right? To show you that you can make the same things, but with all with different techniques, totally different techniques. All right, so in this painting, I'm really just, I'm not using newspaper, which is okay. That's all right. Sometimes you won't have newspaper, and sometimes you won't have a lot of black. So what I'm doing is that for the shadow part of the mountain, I am grabbing my credit card that I cut up, and I'm scraping. The reason why I'm scraping it is because I want it to be shadow like to have some darkness to it but also to show some color right which i like for the light part right where the sun is hitting it i basically just scratch from side to side right side to side and just you can make the mountains however you want you can copy mine go ahead and copy mine it's totally fine with me go ahead right but there's no right and way no right and wrong way to do it they're mountains right like it's they're just mountains so just Relax, do it as you please, all right? 
and just do your best. That's all I can say. Alright, but back to Hurricane Harvey though. Man, I uh it was pretty bad. We still got hit pretty hard. Pretty hard and and like considering that we got rid of the flooding like a day after, that was pretty impressive. I was pretty impressive, like wow, that's that's pretty good. Like not all the spots in Houston, but the majority of Houston after a day, like roads were good. We got 60% of rain in a year. Alright, 60% of the rain we should have gotten in a year in the span of four days. So that is that that is so much water. We got 50 inches of rain. 50 inches of rain! That is a lot of rain. Yeah, but I hope everyone is safe. If I have subscribers from Houston, you can reach out to me. You can message me on Snapchat. We can talk about it. If you don't, but just to make sure, I'm fine. I'm fine, I'm totally fine. I thought my stuff was gonna get flooded. All right, go back to the painting for the mountains. I put clouds underneath, right at the bottom, at the base, to make them look larger, right? To make them look like they are just emerging from the crowd, from the clouds, right? From this. Here on the side, what I did is I put my colors down, pink, I put yellow, right? And I'm here I'm making the waterfall. So I want to add color into the waterfall as well. So what I do, a little side to side, a little scratching of the paint, right, to make some water. Then you pull down. And when you pull down, it gives it direction. When you scratch the paint, you're giving everything direction. You should know that, right? You just keep that in mind when you're painting, right? So different directions and different different things, like it makes it look interesting and I, and I like that, right? So I added a, 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 a basically a layer of white over it, and I'm just gonna scrape down. And keep in mind the techniques that I'm showing you. If you don't like my technique, then that's okay. That's totally alright. You can go off and do, you know, figure out one that you do like. I'm just showing you the one that I prefer. I prefer, right? You guys can always copy my designs, right? Just if you want to give me credit, it'd be really appreciated. But uh, yeah. So I'm keeping with that theme, with scratching, with scratching the paint. And these are gonna be rocks, like rocks sliding down like that. So what I do is I just, same thing as a mountain, just scratch side to side really fast, right? And there's no really pattern to this. I just, I just do it, All right? Just have fun with it. Just have fun with it. And I'll do that for both sides. Let me see. Oh! Oh, my apartment. Okay, so my apartment was shown on TV. It was on TV, basically, like in my area. And all the stores were like flooded up to the roofs, like the roof, like the ceiling. And half of our apartment complex was flooded, right? I didn't know that. I thought all of it was underwater, so I would have lost everything. I would have lost all my paintings. I guess my paint would have been fine because it's not, it's in a can, right? But my paintings was, it's really important, right? But uh, thankfully though, our, our apartments were like one of the few that weren't flooded. So it was like some miracle. I don't know what happened, but that would have been bad. Okay, here, here I'm adding foliage. What I use is I use a sponge, right? But what I do is I curve my sponge, right? Two fingers here, stick your thumb right here. It will make a little curve like this to make it look like a bush. And what you do is that you just dip your paint a little bit and just start dabbing. Just start dabbing a little bit. I'm leaving spaces of black because I want to fill that in with pink, right? A different color. I'm trying to stick with the same color, yellow and pink, right? Because I just want the whole painting to blend together. I don't want something to stand out, right? So I'm just adding the little, little bits of paint that I like, right? Where I want it. It's totally random, right? It's foliage, it's nature's. Nature seeds are totally random. There is no basically specific way to do it. However, if one of you guys want to remake this and show me, it'd be awesome. If I could have a request though, right, you don't have to listen to me, but if you could do this all black and white, right? The whole thing in black and white. And instead of, I want it to be snowy. Right, so the stars, the stars will go all over the paint. So it'll look like snow, but the planet will be a dark 
rich blue, right? That's another, that's, I'll, I'll show you guys, I'll show you guys how that works, right? I'll show you the different things that I've learned, the different things that make things like pop out, like, right? People really like appreciate it. Different techniques, different styles of painting. I'll show you it all. Okay, here, adding the pink foliage. Again, it's random. We started off with yellow before, but like now we're just using pink. All right, we'll add the yellow later. And the way I make it look as realistic as possible is on top of all my foliage, of all my bushes, I get a little bit of white and I just start dabbing a little bit around to make it look like the light is shining through. Shining through all the bushes and touching each individual bush, right? Because it makes sense. It's the sun. Like, it's going to do that, right? It hits everything. So just relax. Just relax. Just enjoy. Also, a video will be coming out later this week about answering all your questions for the giveaway. Uh, tomorrow's the last day, Sunday. Sunday, September 3rd. So if you guys haven't entered in already, tomorrow's your last day. So, um, yeah, I'll pick the winner and then I will actually answer all your questions, right? In a painting style like just like this, right? So it'll be me in the corner and I'll be painting something and I'll just be answering the questions. All right, for this part, what I did is I added some color to the rocks, right? Because I don't like it just, it's so pink. It's so strong, right? So I just basically smeared a bunch of color together. I just swept up with the sponge. That's all I did. Okay, here we're adding some water. I used my fingers. I could have scraped it if I wanted to, but I just wanted to do a different technique. All right. So in this painting, you have like three big wow factors. The three big wow factors are the planet, the mountains, and then the waterfall. It just makes it look awesome, right? That's basically how it is. So when you show people this, you typically want to get those parts right, right? Those are the main chunks you want to get right. Here, I'm just adding a little bit of trees. You can barely see on the camera. Like I said, I like to add as much detail as possible because I know my customers, when they watch me, that's their time, right? That's their time. So I want to paint fast, I want to paint quick, but I don't want to miss detail, right? If I think it lacks detail, I will not sell it. It's just a standard I have. I just, I don't know. I just can't, I can't take someone's money, right? With giving them a subpar thing, right? It's just, it's not cool. I don't like it. A subpar product. Alright, so that little bit of white and just dab it along, right? And here, this basically ends the painting. Alright, things coming to an end. Signing it. Here I'm going to add some comments, right? Just to give it another sense of direction. This will go in the same direction as the planet rings, so down the light. And for, you know, symmetry, two on each side. Here I'm gonna fix up the water, right? And I tried scratching the paint, but it was too hot. So I ended up grabbing some white and I'm just smearing it across to make it look like, you know, the reflection of the sun. After that, this painting's done. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much. New videos are out to come. If you guys like this video, please support me on Patreon. The link is in the, in the description. I hope you guys like the video. I hope you guys like how it looks. If you guys like how it looks, please smash that like button. Share with all your friends. And don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Finally, thank you Lords 2 k for supporting me on Patreon. My very first patron. Wow, that's really cool. Alright. 
Like, comment, subscribe. I'll see you guys later. Thank you to Castle family. I will see you guys later. Goodbye.